Hey guys, this is Vance Logic, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia, where everything's made up, the points don't matter, and holy crap, get it, Gertz Uprising is fucking awesome. And I just threw that out there. <laughs> anyway, in the last part, we made our way all the way around Saibak and Mel Tokyo, and now we're no longer fugitives, and now we know a way to cure Colette's sickness, so we just gotta get her a rune crest. So anyway, Kid Edgar's Uprising, holy crap, I've just been playing that non-stop this whole weekend. You know, other than working, that's all I've been doing, honestly. So, damn it, that skit has been going on for a while, and I've been, this is like March 25th. I recorded that a while ago, so, end of the revenge. And what you do now, blah, blah, he's saying something, I didn't bother reading it. For the sake of Lloyd and the others who aided me in my revenge, they didn't help you at all. And for Alicia's sake as well, I shall assist in what meager ways I can to eliminate Crucius. Yes. Alright. Defeating Varley does not mean that everything is over. Of course not. Shit, and Varley was like a side thing. It may just be, the, be the, the beginning. A new beginning for the sake of turning our eyes from the past and toward the future. And all that other sappy crap. Nah, I'm kidding. Anyway, I think we have to check one of these floors in order to find some of that uh, Zircon for Colette's Cure. Yeah, maybe it's somewhere around here. Regal and the rest of you look for a particular document. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm looking for Zircon, goddammit. Well, you're the president. I'm terrified. Yes, damn right. Lloyd is the president. He'll kick your ass with his swords for some reason. I don't know. Hey, where's the Zircon, you old man? Is everything running smoothly? Yes, the business is. However, the sealed Exphere mine was raided by someone. We believe it was the work of Varley. But unfortunately, it appears that access to the core area was prevented. So it would seem. But it is safe, but it is safe to assume that there will be no more trouble of that nature. Barley is dead. Damn right he is. Are you certain of this? In other words, Alicia was avenged, though the actions through the actions of Regal and Persea. I see. This is good news. Are you here to just report this information? No, I have other business. I want to take a look at the records concerning past mining operations. Please unlock the door to the archives. Documents, blah, 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 blah. Second floor archive. I knew it. Damn it. I was being presumptuous. Anyway. Oh, my God. Kid Icarus Uprising. I can't get enough of it. And Zircon's shipment was... Holy fuck! The hell was that, man? What we have here? Yeah, I'm trying to talk about Kid Icarus, man! <laughs> Why are you still getting in our way? This is about me, isn't it? Of course! Because of you, my parents and countless members of our village died. Even though you were like seven years old at the time, you didn't know jack shit about doing summon spirit packs. I still blame you! Alright, Chief was not woken from his coma for ten years. Alright, cool. Who cares? You think apologizing will cut it? Of course she doesn't think that, you ba dumbass! Sheena, if you're gonna sa suggest sacrificing yourself, that guy will never forgive you. Uh, if I'm the one you hate, let's have a one-on-one -on -one duel as dictated by village custom. Do you really think you could defeat me alone? Well, do you accept my challenge? Very well, do what you want. Do you want to do it here and now? We'll follow the village custom and fight on the island of decision. Is that alright with you, Lloyd? I guess it wouldn't be much to try and stop you. Thanks. I'll be waiting for you on the island of decision. Wait, give us back that document. This is the proof of the, your promise to fight. Let me die if we don't have that. If you need proof of the duel, I'll give you this. And that is... Corinne's Memento. Very well. If you do not come, I'll grind this belt of dust. Oh, that's nice. I know how important that was to you. I'm sorry. It's okay. All I have to do is defeat him. I'm not going to run away anymore. The island of decision is reached for Mizuho, so can we stop by there later? Way later. So, yeah, way later. So, where's the Zircon, damn it? Last shipment went to the Imperial Research Psych Academy in Cybac. Let's go, buddies. I won't run away anymore. Damn it. What should I do? Cello, stop talking to yourself. You're kind of scaring me with what ideas are going through your head, if any. Because I'm pretty damn sure you're da you're freaking smart. I mean, come on. You know your math. And you pulled out that, that shit with Spiritua. So yeah, don't go doing anything funny, you bastard. I'll freaking kill you. Oh, maybe. Maybe later. I honestly, I don't even feel like killing you right now. You know what? Screw it. I just completely forgot what I was even talking about in the first place. Oh yeah, Kid Icarus Uprising. It is freaking awesome! Okay, enough of that. And, yep, I think I'm just going around in circles now. <laughs> well, there's the bridge. And I believe... No, wait, that's my Tokyo. Over here, buddies. Beep! Beep. I don't know why. Like, moving with the C stick, it's freaking hilarious to me. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Alright, so let's get some of that Zircon, buddies. And my freaking screen is going crazy on me. 
Anyway, I I do want to talk about Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus is surprising, but my god. If I try saying anything, I'm, I fear of spoiling it to any of you. So, heard that a ten foot tall angel had descended from heaven and devoured those who opposed the Chosen. Ten feet tall? Devoured, huh. Well, I didn't know there were scary angels like that. <laughs> that girl with the Crucius crystal doesn't devour humans hold too, does she? Don't be stupid. I trust the Chosen, really. Good, good. Is there any... And is there any of that Zircon left here that was purchased from the Lezzarano Company? Zircon? Yes, there is. Give us some. Of course, it's in the next room past this door. There are books scattered all over, so maybe you'll be able to find it right away. I'll leave it unlocked. Alright, cool. Let's get some of that Zircon, because, yep, coming up after this, we gotta go exploring one of the holy mother of crap puzzles of this game. Or at least areas. If I remember correctly. Because I think if I heard them right, and don't quote me on this because I recorded that almost, like, a week or two ago. But I think, I think they said the village of the elves, Heimdall, and surround and surrounding Heimdall is a forest, a certain forest, the the kind of foresty forest that smells foresty. Anchovies. Nah, I'm kidding. God damn it, Mr. Krabs. All right, where do I go from here? So, yep. I just gotta look for it. I'll, I'll drive backwards if I have to. In fact, that's what I am doing right now. Because <laughs> if I saw it correctly on the map... Yep, look at me go. I'm freaking awesome. I'm driving parallel. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Ah! Yeah, this is kind of confusing, though. It's like, yep, there. Yep, here it is. Uh, hey, let me land in it. Alright, screw you two, then. I'll have to walk into it. They don't want you walking. Yep, the Ymir Forest. There's no question, Heimdall lies ahead. I still remember. Up ahead is the place where I was born. Okay, let's go. Welcome to the Ymir Forest. I finally made it this far. Heimdall, the village where I was born and raised, where only pure blood elves can live. Awkward silence. Professor, what, what's with the scary look? Nothing. It's always nothing. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you guys with your nothings and such. And here's the sorcering function. Well, this time it makes sounds. Huh. Nothing happened. Yeah, how do we use this? Maybe that only has an effect in specific places. I see. If you guys see right here, there's a plant right there. And on this stump is the same exact plant. Climb onto it. <laughs> wow, he rammed in so hard, hard, so freaking hard, and he killed himself. That was scary. You're pathetic. No, I totally thought Sheena was charging at me. You are a bastard, Zelos. Okay, okay, that's enough. So this ring is it's able to call animals, maybe? Looks like it had an effect when you used it on top of that tree stump. I have a feeling that it's reacting to the flower and not the stump. That's a weird ability. Oh, well. And he laughs. He's like, calling animals is fun. Damn right, it is Lloyd. So yeah, look for any stumps or whatever the whatever places have flowers on them, and they will have different effects because that plant right there that calls uh, boars to our area, and you can also jump on this right here, though it's not going to have any effect since there's no flower on it. So anyway, this I am going at blind because I can't remember how I go about this and chosen s fight. <laughs> So, boar and baby boar. Ah, oh, that's nice. Some baby boar ribs. Holy crap. Man, those are some strong nostrils, buddy. There we go. Oh, yeah. I forgot my combo. There we go. Oh, yeah. So now Zealous has Super Lightning Blade. Because I think in order to know that, he has to know both Thunder Blade and Grave. If I remember correctly from what I saw in my notes, like, weeks ago. <laughs> But yeah, now he has Super Lightning Blade, and now you can chain Lightning Blade and Super Lightning Blade together to be as annoying as Kratos when we first fought him. That freaking bastard, man. Enemies. Ooh, and a Storm Crow. Holy crap. Good. There we go. <laughs> it's funny because I'm using Rising Falcon on a freaking bird. There we go. <laughs> so, oh wait, did I even get the info for Baby Boars? I don't think I did. There we go. 
As you can see, Baby Boar definitely have a lot less health than like his uh, younger counterpart. There we go. <laughs> I love that freaking Hurricane Thrust and Rising Falcon combo. Seriously. Anyway, I want to keep bringing up Kid Icarus Uprising, but no, that's slightly inappropriate for this situation. If something in it hard, looks like it would open. And of course, there's a flower right here. This is just for treasure, I believe. I don't think this has anything to do with the, the puzzle itself. It just shows you, hey, yeah, look for anything that might need this sort of effect. And a solar guard. I think that might be for, I per se, and collect. No, wait. Where the hell is the solar guard? Oh, wait. There, oh, there was both for both of them. You know what, Colette? You haven't been in a fight in God knows how long. Say, there we go. Zelos, you might stay in there. Or I might put Regal. Or Sheena. Jeez. You know what? Yep. All ladies and Lloyd. He's got that whole harem thing going on. <laughs> so, yep. And there's two screens to this puzzle. Yeah, this is going to be annoying really... This is going to get annoying really fast. Anyway, if you go right here... As you can see, there's a rock right there. There we go. Though unfortunately, it doesn't do much damage to it. Or at least not much, so there are cracks in it. And now we gotta get on the other side and get a board to slam into that side too. So that way it breaks. It breaks like as something that breaks really easily because it has cracks in it. Like an asshole that's taking a huge dump. Oh, oh no, wait, this is for, like, near the end of the puzzle. Oh, a bug. <laughs> oh, that's an awesome reaction right there. It's like, you see a bug fall out of a freaking uh, tree into the water, you're like, Wow, a bug. What's that round balloon thing? I don't know, but we'll go looking for it, I guess, suppose. Oh, right, this is for one of the seeds. Because we gotta collect seeds in order to get more flowers to appear and to get more different effects. So we just gotta pick it up. And now we have the blue seed, and this will create blue flowers once we plant it. So let's try planting it somewhere. I wonder what kind of flower will bloom. Holy crap. Let's try planting it somewhere. You guys hear how I said let's try planting it somewhere? Jeez, that had no voice acting ability to it whatsoever. I could have just said it normally and that would have more freaking voice acting ability than Arkwright's Fantasia's voice actors. Well, most of Arkwright's Fantasia's voice actors. I've been watching that Let's Play with the uh, Tales of... Like, Tales of Creed's Let's Play of that. It's pretty cool. I like the game. It looks good. The voice acting, though, oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes it's just, like, unbearably bad. Then again, I, I can't be one to talk. My voice acting skills are definitely not as good as anyone's. Alright, guys, sorry about that. I kind of got uh, interrupted, but eh, you guys don't need to know about that. Anyway, if you guys saw once we planted that blue flower... Mm, right here, a blue flower actually spawned up. So yeah, they spawned up wherever the fuck, so let's try it. I don't know, I like the one for this one. It's freaking beautiful sounding. And what this one does, it summons up a fish. Though this one doesn't do much of anything, so yeah. There's blue flowers blooming all over there too. Let's check it out. So yeah, right here, this is for near the end of the puzzle too. So yeah, I'm just letting you guys know that. That I remember from this whole freaking thing. But anyway, I do like the blue flower sound whenever you play the sorcerer's ring because yeah, it sounds pretty damn good. It's like doo -doo -doo -doo. You guys will hear it again because I think I interrupted on in on it. Oh yeah, I see one over there. Get the hell out of my way, you warp. Holy bad. mother of armivores! I don't think I've ever fought these whenever I played this game. Or at least I don't remember it anyway. So yeah, look at that. Hey, buddy. There we go, and die, please. Or die sooner or something. Man, it's been a while since I've had a party of all girls. You know, now that I think about it, I think that's how I did it with Tales of Asperia. Because <laughs> I think I only had Yuri, Estelle, Rita, and uh, Judith. No, that was my party. That was awesome. Nothing but ladies. Especially Yuri. <laughs> uh, questioning his sexuality, or not sexuality, his sex. His gender. And that fish just moved. He just, I think he went to the other screen, so yeah, let's check that out. Yep, check that out. That fish. 
Huh. Is it guarding its territory? But it's oblivious when it's swimming. Lloyd, why are you squaring up against a fish? <laughs> Shut up, I was just taking notice. Damn right you were. And as you can see, there's a blue flower right here, but I think this is for near the end of the puzzle, too. Maybe. Actually, now that I think about it, we're gonna have to, uh... If I remember correctly, we actually just skipped straight to, like, the area of Heimdall, but I think we're gonna have to do something along the way. So yeah, you can just make your way over here. Holy crap, a bug. <laughs> Whoa, a bug. And let's just make our way straight to the end, because that's pretty much what I think what they expected you to do, because trying to figure out the puzzle now, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. And trying to remember how to even go about this whole area. There's a lot of freaking paths, I think. So I think we just... Damn it! Oh, dang. Orcrot. Dodos and Orcrot. Orcrots. Holy crap. Yeah, you freaking fluttery, kicky enemy. Screw you all. I never liked you all. Though I do like your beasts. They're freaking awesome. Freaking axe beak enemies. You have to look awesome with like, your axe beaks. Oh, bro. Hey. Hey, son of a... Stop locking my buddy. Yeah, no, I'm feeling rusty right now because I haven't recorded in quite a while. There we go. Hey. There we go. Dang. I'm already low on TP. Yeah, damn it. Thankfully, I don't think there's any bosses that we have to fight for the... Whatever the hell we're getting in this area. Hey. Alright. And that fuel barrier has gone to waste. I think over here is... No, wait, that's for another flower we're getting. Actually, we just... We made our way back to the beginning! Yeah, demon. Alright, let's try figuring a way out. And killer bees. No, not Naruto, you freaking assholes. Jesus. I'm just going to be pointing that out because, yeah, there's going to be that one person, the one person that thinks everything is a reference to Naruto. Yeah, I think I had that with, like, Tales of Hesperia, too. Like, I think when I was hunting some of the fell arms, like, one of the fell arms' names was Susanu, and then it was like, oh my god, that's Naruto reference. Oh my god, that's so fucking awesome. Ah. Naruto is alright. It's not freaking awesome, though. At all. And overkill collect. Yeah, damn. There we go. So, we just gotta figure our way around all this crap. I am definitely gonna be cutting out a lot. I think I might just cut this into parts straight away. Oh, wait, maybe it's over here. Oh, yeah, I think I see a path. Maybe. Yep. Over here. Make our way over here, there we go. And that's all my commentary is consisting of right now. <laughs> go over here, go over here, yeah, get this, go over here. I feel like Sour Goku. Or at least I feel the way Sour Goku feels about his commentary. Some way. And yep, little boy! Get the hell out of my way. Do you let us through? No! Fuck you, kid. Why won't you let us through? What's going on? We can't tell you if you don't say anything. We can't tell if you. Don't make. Don't want to make us say anything, Greek kid. Stop it, everyone. He's scared. What is it? Is something wrong? You want to tell us about it? Mommy is... Hmm? Mom is sick. I need a Ymir fruit from this forest to save her, but they're monsters. Okay, gotcha. Then we'll go get that Ymir fruit for you. And you will, then will you let us through? You really get it for me? Dwarven vow number 11. Lying is the first step down the path of thievery. So I don't lie, because that's my mortal. Mor... You mean moral, Lloyd. Motto. Whatever. Something that starts with an M. <laughs> so where is in the forest, is it? Actually, I don't know much about it. Just, what? How are we supposed to search for that? Zelos, you are an asshole. <laughs> he backs up. My mom said when you're in trouble, the butterflies of the forest will guide you. They say that the butterflies of this forest react to people's hearts. Oh, boy. If we're having trouble with something we should search. Look for the butterflies. Okay, well, let's wait right here. Look for butterflies, for they are the answer to all your life's problems. All of life's problems. Not just this game, all of life's problems. 